Hey guys, this is Andy Chatfield from PTC Optics. I'm here today to show you how to upgrade to the latest firmware version for your PTC Optics 20X USB G2 camera. So the first thing we're going to do is go into our firmware folder for our 20X G2 USB. And um, there's three different things we have to upgrade for the firmware of the USB cameras. We're going to upgrade the SOC file for the IP, the FPGA and the USB for the USB connection. So I'm going to start with the USB. I'm going to run this program. It's a little bit buggy, but we are going to query succession connect succession connection successful. I am going to add a file. It won't be an FPGA. It'll be in USB. And there is my USB disk image, and I'm going to upgrade it. This should take uh, about a minute or so. All right, so now our USB firmware is complete. We're going to use the same program to switch to the FPGA, add a file. We'll go to the FPGA and add that in. Now we're going to upgrade that. And again, this should take about a minute. All right, the FPGA firmware is complete. Now we can get out of here. After we've got those two firmwares, the USB and the FPGA, you can exit out of this program, go back to the firmware folder, and we're going to do the SOC upgrade. To do this, you will run this upgrade program. If you have your PTZ Optics on the network and everything, you should be familiar with this program. You should find every camera, PTZ Optics camera anyway, on your network. Um, you will have to determine which one is the camera you wish to apply the firmware to. I know for a fact this is 87 for me. So I am going to, first things first, back up. I'm going to back up this camera, back up success. Great. Now I'm going to go to the upgrade. You can also do this. I'm just going to upgrade. And what I'd like to do is the MTD. I want to query to make sure I have a connection to the camera. Seeing this information means you have the connection to the camera. I'm going to open this image file, 20S USB, firmware G2, stock file. This is the disk image I want, and I am going to upgrade. This process should take uh, about four or five minutes. Um, you'll see your camera reboot twice during the process. It'll sit at 85% here for a while until the camera reboots, then it'll probably go to 98%, and then it'll reboot again, at which point it'll be done. Um, give it the full time to finish the upgrade. Make sure it says upgrade success after it's all done. Don't disconnect it in the middle, or you can break your camera, and it will no longer be usable. Um, so, yeah, I'll be back once this is finished up.
my camera just rebooted. My camera just rebooted for the second time, so it should be just about finished up here. There we go. Great success. So one thing I want to mention, um, probably should have mentioned earlier, the firmware upgrade will completely wipe out all the settings on your camera. Doing the backup does not fix this. That actually backs up a specific part of the camera. So once you're finished here, I'm going to search again, and my camera will be back at its default IP address of 192.168.100.88. I'm going to config it and set it back to 我就是為了這個主動。然後我就是為了這個主動。然後我就是為了這個主動。然後我就是為了這個主動。然後我就是為了這個主動。然後我就是為了這個主動。然後我就是為了這個主動。然後我就是為了這個主動。然後我就是為